Know what this is? It's a man. Of the 15 carloads ship, transfer 12A units to Area 3 and 16... Talking to a machine. ...charges to Area 4. And this is a machine talking to a machine. Hello, George. This is Chris over purchasing. Hi, Chris. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering, on that order we just received, can we... You know what this is? A man talking to another man. Man to man, man to machine, machine to machine. In a short time, we've come a long way. And this, already hanging around in the heavens, this is change. You've seen the change shining in the night. Man-made satellites. So knowledge and understanding, so communication between people is only an electronic impulse away. So business contacts are instantaneous in any part of the world. Communications and change. When do they begin? Well, when something is born or built, the second it appears, it begins to communicate and to change. As man developed, he had to have contact, to trade, to travel, talk, and do business over longer and longer distances. And today, we must speed up our recognition of change. For even as you watch this, the pace grows swifter, the minutes crowd more closely. Change jostles change, sweeping away many differences that size once made in the operations of a business. This brings you whether you're a one-man company or a corporation executive, face-to-face -face with many challenges. Challenges of change that you may recognize. Hey, Larry, they want to know where the merchandise is. Look, I'm sorry. We're trying to get the stuff out as fast as we can, but we're up to our ears and orders. Yeah. Well, I just came in a minute ago. Well, I know I hate to lose your business, but both Jack and I had to be out. We're busy as the devil. <laughs> just one of those things. I don't understand it. We buy some new equipment, change some method, and it's two weeks before anybody finds out about it. What's the matter with you guys back there anyway, huh? I work my pants to the bone trying to make sales, and I can't get the information I want when I need it. I don't understand. What's going on? I don't understand. I know, I know, but how can I be in when I'm out? Different businesses, separate problems, but they're all the growing bottlenecks of change and they pop up in front of you every single day. But I thought that's what you guys said. No, you shouldn't have told Miller that. But I thought we all agreed on it. I talked to you about the deal. No, no, you talked to me. You left me a note to get together with Bill. And I was out at the time. We never got together. Well, I can't go chasing all over the place for you. I had to give Miller an answer. I thought we all felt the same. I thought that's what you guys said. The need, better communication between people. Today's solution, the call director. Yes, all right, Mr. Miller. I'd like to check the shipping date, so would you just give me a moment, please? This is the call director for fingertip access to information, ideas, decisions. Mr. Miller, I'm going to have to put you on hold for just a second and find out. Okay. This is Bill. Larry here. Bill? Larry? I got Miller on the line. He's waiting for an answer. So I want to get some information from both of you. Okay. Yeah? Now, you know, Miller has a big order for us, if we can deliver. I'd like to know how you fellas feel about shifting our schedule so we can deliver some of those new items, or oh, maybe a few days ahead of time. Out of the marriage of research and engineering at Bell Telephone Laboratories come solutions to changing problems and pressures and answers to ever-growing needs and to ever-growing complexities like this. Well, well... Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Winters. I can't find the purchase order. All right. Keep looking. Keep looking. Did you find it? No. Nobody knows where it is. 
But they say they mailed the order two days ago. They're sore. It's one of those things. I've looked through everything, stacks of these. Yeah, we can't find anything anymore. For one thing, we're choked with paper. Maybe we need some more filing cabinets. Pretty soon we're going to have so many cabinets, we won't have room for people. The space age is upon us in more ways than one. But such down-to-earth problems of office space need no longer exist because already there's a solution. Data phone service, allowing a machine to talk to another machine over the telephone, passing along information stored in the space-saving language of machine code. Mary D'Angelo, please. Hello, Mary, this is Alice. How are you? We want to send out some orders now. Can my machine talk to your machine? Thanks, Mary. Here we go. Simple, most good ideas are like this compact telephone console that answers your needs of today and leaves room for your growth tomorrow. Good morning, Benson Company. Is Mr. Jordan in, please? Yes, he is. I'll connect you with Mr. Jordan. One moment, please. I'm sorry, Mr. Williams is out. Will you speak with someone else? And this new idea that brings speed and ease to your everyday telephoning. Margaret, we've got a rush order on a hundred of these new X207 wrenches. Hundred X207? Yeah, will you call all our suppliers, see how many you can get immediately? Yes, sir, I'll call right away. Thanks very much. Good morning, Mr. Thompson. This is Miss Jones at Morgan's. We need a hundred X-207 wrenches right away. How soon can you send them over? Gee, I've only got 30 in stock. Can you send those over right away? Sure. By noon. Thanks, Mr. Thompson. Okay. Bye. Bye. The card dialer. An electronic finger that dials for you. Hello, Mr. Novak. This is Miss Jones at Morgan's. We need 70 X-207 wrenches right away. How soon can you send them over? And this? What the devil's that? That's me. My office calling. That deal on the Hawkins property must have come through. You mean they dialed it? Yeah, I've got my own personal number. Excuse me, I'll call in. Hey, let me see that. Sure. How about that? What'll they think of next? What'll they think of next? Well, Bell System scientists and engineers have taken the raw material of problems and needs, have shaped them into systems and devices like these. And these that are at work in business now. But the change is never ending. Challenge and creativity. From one flows the other. From the present to the future. These are the shapes of the future. Tools for communication now being forged and tested against tomorrow's unfolding needs. Not yet, but sooner than you may realize. And some of what's on the drawing boards may be a little out of this world. And now may we show you one of our newest models designed by Howard of Hong Kong. Notice the dramatically shaped bodice and the gentle form of the neckline. This model comes in red, yellow, I don't know. Do you have it in green? Certainly. Here it is. 
Yes, fine. That's it. I'll take it. Please send it out to me. Here's my credit card. Oh, and don't forget the striped pillowcases. No, we won't. We'll send them in the first delivery. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. There's an old saying. The more things change, the more they stay the same. In this weird and wonderful world of tomorrow, we'll still be doing the same things differently. Four dozen eggs, three pounds mushrooms, two turkeys, one boneless ham, four boxes wild rice, three dozen pâté bouffe à la bergère. Mm -hmm. And my account number 7172. Uh, -huh. uh, honey? Yes? Can you think of anything else for the party? Did you put down the pâté bœuf à la bergère? <laughs> Mais certainement. Okay, honey. I'll uh, phone right it in. The butcher, the baker, perhaps even candlestick makers. They may be in for some communications changes, too. Four dozen eggs, three pounds of mushrooms, two turkeys, a boneless ham, four boxes of wild rice, and three dozen patty buffs a la Bergia. Hey, Bird. Yeah, what is it? Look at this. Hmm. 7172. Well, that's the Tremblay order. Having a big party Thursday. Yeah, but... Yeah, they need three dozen pâté bœuf à la bergère. Yeah, well, what are pâté bœufs à la bergère? That's some foreign thing. You put in a call to the supplier, see if he's got some. Okay. From consumer to retailer to wholesaler. As today, so tomorrow. Every link in the business chain dependent on the strength of its communications tie with every other link. This just came through. Oh, yes. Patty Beurf à la Berger. Get the code to Paris, Tokyo, and Johannesburg. One of those places might have some. Uh, there are plenty of rocket deliveries Thursday morning. Yes, sir. Right away. All right. This is change. Startling? Perhaps. Yet this future may be but a moment of research from now. For where change once moved as the hour hand on a clock, now it rockets at a speed the mind's eye can hardly follow. Listen. Look around. Well, we can arrange to meet you in Rome tomorrow morning. There are new sounds. And this will take care of the requirements for the British market. New voices. This world, now grown so small in time and distance, grows ever larger in challenge and opportunity.